My guest tonight is a man we hear on the airwaves all the time expressing his views rather forcefully on a variety of subjects. There are people that believe that we should put him aside. There are others who would die for him. Tonight we'll be looking to see if there's any real substance behind what he says. Kofi Wayo, thank you for coming. Thank you too. Kofi, you are talking all the time. I hear you, you host programs on radio constantly. The last few years, we hear you talking about how this must be done, how that must be done. Why are you doing this all the time? Why? Yeah. You're going to ask me why? Mm. You don't see the environment you live in? Is that the way to do it? Right? Yep. That's the way to do it. Mm. If somebody had done it before, then I wouldn't have had to do it. Then I can proceed and do what I have to do. You live in a society where there are no accountability. Nobody is responsible for anything. Nobody gets fired. People just do what they want, okay? And the politicians, they take advantage of it. They like it that way. There's no order. Can we change that? Yes, of course. How can we change that? Simple. You gotta have a man who is prepared to change. You gotta have a man who fears God. You gotta have a man who have love for his people. You got to have a person who understand what leadership is. You understand? And I'm trained for that. I did not come here to want to be president. I came to help Kufu to be president so that I can put into action what I have to do. Tell me, Kofi, at what point you will feel that you have a sense of accomplishment? What things must change for you to, to feel that you don't need to be on this crusade? When people have rivers mm -hmm. surrounding them, all over and they have no water in the house to drink because the government that takes their tax money does not deliver service to them this and, is not unique to the government i mean you describe i hear you on the radio and stuff all the time you describe this place as though we were on an island i mean the yes. difficulties we face here are common in many other places where what west africa okay africa yeah so africa is a problem indeed okay so i am not looking at africa i'm looking at my hometown mm. i i grew up knowing that you know you you fix your home first before you talk about somebody what, what do you mean the hometown my hometown is ghana mm. this i was born here mm. this is my hometown and whatever knowledge i have i want to impart it here i want my country to be the best mm. you understand mm. so after mm. i mm. do that mm. okay mm. and and i have time mm. or whatever if, when my people are well fed right they got shoes on their feet children got play, playing parks mm. and stuff like that. Our doctors are well paid, school teachers are it's well paid. It's easy to say, isn't but it? It's, no, it's, it's easy to do. What do you mean it's easy to do? It depends what you're doing. It depends what kind of mind you're using mm. to face a problem. Mm. So you have good ideas about progress for this country. Yes. Why do you think, therefore, people don't, a lot of people don't take you sufficiently seriously? You know that. Are you sure? It's only the elite. Mm. Most of the elite, sure. Ah, so you, you like to deal with the ordinary people. That's right. So, so you're the one that really the, is... the victims. Yeah, but are you not exploiting that? I mean, there you are saying the elite. You put the elite aside. If they engaged you, then you'd have a problem. But if you have all these other people and you're ranting and no. living, they love it. No, 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 no. no I so would what? like the elite to engage me. But they don't because they know I'm telling the truth. No, but maybe it's the way you say it, Kofi. I mean, I don't know. What do you I, care how I say it? That's important. Don't you think the vessel is as Listen, important as the no, message? No, it depends what circumstances. Mm. When a man ha just have a heart attack, huh? Mm. you don't worry about who carries him to the hospital. The, the fact is he's got to get there. We don't care how he get there. No, no, He's no, got to get there. Well, that's that we can talk about. See, but do you, so do you accept, do you accept cultures. my question, Kofi? Yes. Yeah. That perhaps you could make a better impact if you were to present yourself different. Who makes you think I haven't made an impact? I listen to people. I hear them talk about you. Yeah. I, I said in the beginning even, yes. there are people that take you seriously. But, but you polarize. Yes. Is that not correct? Well, that's part of the... Do, it, it takes polarization mm. in order for the facts to come. It takes time mm. for people to understand. When people have been in darkness for a long time, mm. if you shine a flashlight into their eye, they all go, ah, So are there no, any no, no. other people that can shine a flashlight there? Or this, is, this is your... They, no, you, you got great guys like KSM, Quissy Pratt, and several others. It's not just me, you know, oh. because they see something is wrong. What is wrong? What is wrong is this? 
what happened to our people? What happened to them when, in 1957, Kwame Nkrumah, the father of this nation, told the whole world that the black man is capable of taking care of their own affairs? Nkrumah proceeded in nine years to give us examples. In just nine years, he built Akusumbo Dam, right? He built Tama Township, industrial area. He built uh, universities. He built roads, highways. He, 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 he just almost conquered the whole north, put them into education. He had the cash? No. He had the know-how. He didn't have any cash? You don't need cash. What do you need? You need know-how. Off enough. That's what you need. So since Nkrumah, we really haven't had anybody there. Everybody, to, to what, what we have is, what we have since Nkrumah are all demolition crews. What do you mean demolition crews? They've been demolishing everything. You mean that? Where is the Ghana Airways Nkrumah built? Where is the Black Star Line Nkrumah built? Where is the... The world has Pamela changed. Nkrumah? So, listen, the world has changed. Okay, t take England, right? Uh, look at their parliament house. It was built, what, almost a thousand years ago. Go and look at it today. It's there, right? Look at uh, Henry Ford. He built his company when? 1900s. What is the point? Well, the point is this. You said time change. So time change, so we demolish things. When time changes over there in Europe, they build things and preserve what they got. Mm. We, we have destroyed everything. Commander Sugar Factory, gone. So what, what have we been doing for 50 years? And all we do now is beg. And we're living with cocoa, gold, diamond, bauxite, manganese, you name it, salt, everything. So Kofi, and our people are suffering. So Mr. Why? Wyo, what, what would you do different? This is what I'll do different. I believe in my people. I believe in their capabilities. Do you understand? So I'll sit with them and say, listen, fellas, begging is wrong. We don't have to depend on European Union. Our father told us that the black man can take care of their own affairs. So what will you do different? I mean, that's, that's my point. We, okay. we all know this. Mm. In, in, in the military, right? I grew up in the military. When you're, going to, when you're going to war with somebody, what do you do first? First, you do what we call surveillance of the enemy, right? Right? You get info, intelligence. We of have the enemy. information. Okay. We have okay. loads of reports now you have from to how be, we can. If you're a good general, right, you have to translate that information into practicality. Okay, one, I want to know how many tanks the enemy have. What kind of tanks do they have? What is their range? Do you understand? Mm. What is the ammo? The thickness of the armor? Do the troops you know? have any responsibility? Yes. No, the I troops, mean, respons just, their responsibility is I have to train them well to know what to do. The troops must just follow the general all the time. They, that's right. They take orders from the general. That doesn't, in, in the battlefield, you've been trained to do certain things. But not everything you can be trained for. But you're also trained to be practical. Okay? You, are, you, are, you are militaristic. No, I just, I learn a lot from it. From the military? Yeah, I grew up in it. Do you think we should have a benevolent dictator? Should people no. be forced? Listen, all the nations that are advanced in this world are free expression, okay? When you, you, you allow people to express themselves, mm. ideas just keep coming. Do you understand? Mm. But that's what Ghana is like. No. You see, there, there, there's educated ideas and then there's wild ideas. When, when, when you make it wild, it just grows everywhere. So it's useless. Is that not exactly the point with your ideas? No. That my that ideas articulated. I can translate them to you. For example, I'm, I'm looking at our farmers, right? Let's say in north, you know, my, my favorite region is north. I like it there. Why? I don't know. I just it's have a spiritual poor. love. You see, that's what I mean. Sometimes I think you're just populist and are playing well, on... What's wrong why, with why, populism? Yeah, yeah, but Clinton was a populist. Mm. Roosevelt was a populist, mm. right? Uh -huh. mm. Thomas Jefferson was a populist. Huh? So what's wrong with being a populist? Yeah, you're just simply sounding it out. People love to hear these things and they follow you. No, no, but no. really, I really, if they press you... For example, when I came, right, uh, NDC would not give water to Taifa because they said they are MPP over there. All the MPP people didn't do nothing about it, right? And I'm like, why won't you give water, life to people? So I went and I loaned the money to, 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 to build the water. Do you understand? When the government came, they should have continued it, but they didn't. You, you're, so if I keep doing it, you give away money for free and you, you lose all your money. But it shows that there's no practical people in the government. Because 
They could have picked it up and make it work. Look at our farmers. They have a plan. They have their own plan. But it's not working. Listen, when you have a plan and you can't see the result of the plan, right, as, as fast as possible, okay, go north. You know, World Bank, they, they will recommend to you to build uh, – uh, dams for irrigation and all this stuff. But there's a far cheaper way to do this. But it's the reality. No. They you give you the cost. money. He no, will no. pay the piper yeah. calls hey, the tune. Hey, you give me money, right? Yes. Let, let, let me ask you something. I, I give you $100. Out of the $100, I want to take $20 for myself. Another $20 for my upkeep. Another $20 for my trips to come and go to watch what you're doing, right? What are you suggesting? You got $60. So what are you suggesting? But that you got to pay me $100 back. Are you going to be poorer or are you going to be richer? So we shouldn't be working with the World Bank? No, not under th these conditions. I will never do it. And, and nobody and, and, in the But you don't have the money. The, 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 you the, the, do have the money. Where's the money? It's right here. Yeah, but you, in what form? Hey, listen. It's I mean, you just describe all this poverty gold? around here and then you say there's money. Yeah, because the leadership don't know what they are doing. You know, I know where the money is. It's right here. Where? But I don't want to tell them. No. no, no, no. When they take it, they will steal it. No, that's the, where do you Do think? you have gold in Ghana? I would imagine. They are you gold. would imagine? There well, are there is. Mines. I don't imagine it. Good. I've seen it. Okay. So. Okay. What do you do with it? You give it away. Do you mine it yourself? Do you have do the capability? You, do you know who is giving the Ghana government foreign exchange? The Galamse people. The people that the European told you to fight. Right? Instead of... Getting these Galamse people, organize them right, right? Because they have experience already. That's how the white men started. You help them with machinery and education, and they would, they would mine the gold for Ghana. Do you understand what I'm saying? But you're depending on foreigners. They come and take the gold away and give you two, three, or four, five percent. You know, out of some 800 and something million of gold exported last year, you got about 47 million dollars. I, you, I mean. Nobody in the world w would act like that. Nobody does, except Africa. And, 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 Nobody. and without them, the Galamze people would, would, but, but would provide returns listen beyond $47 million. Yeah, well, the would Galamze, they? go and check, mm. is the Galamze people, our own people, who are supplying the foreign exchange that you're using. What do you mean they are supplying the foreign exchange? There are, there are, multi, there, there are big institutional mines here that they are don't doing give that. You, they take the money, they take mm. the gold out, and the money don't come back. It but doesn't they, come back. And but but, but these, tax, these, are private, these are private these are private companies that yeah, that but are why running. Do you, listen to me. Why are you depending on outsiders? Why don't you believe in yourself? Well, it's not a question of believing in yourself. Can you do it? You can do it. The Galamse people they will do a lot. No, I mean, you no, always no. seem to suggest that that they had no leaders and so on. I'm saying, can you contribute in other yeah. ways okay. besides listen, becoming? If you want to swim in in the in the sea or mm. water, mm. and there are sharks all over, would you swim? You'll be eaten up, right? Simple logic. But if you get the sharks out, right? What are you saying? That people don't... The government here is hostile to free thinking. It's hostile to free enterprise. You understand? They want to control everything. This, is, this government describes it as, as a golden age for business. It has no, a political no, no. It's platform a golden age that of says... Fraud. No, no, it's, it, it's, it's a golden age of fraud. Yes. And avarice. Do you see any good at all? What? In what government does? Do you see any good? The only good thing this government is doing, if you call it good, is to allow you to just talk. And they don't listen anyway, so what's the difference? <laughs> <laughs> so they just say, oh, just let them talk. Or, you know, we see Pratt, uh, Rawlings, they just let them talk. Okay. That's, that's, how they, the other that's, that's how they treat you? That's right. Just if let they them listen talk? to me, by now they would have made advance. Maybe, maybe, well, maybe part of the challenge is for you to operate so that they listen they to you. They won't. What is the point? They don't the care about the welfare of the people. Look, hey, you got workers. No, but how can you say that? Because you see the people die every day and nobody does anything about it. Hey, I was You just said it talk. takes time. I mean, no, we have real challenges that will take time. Hey, hey, hey. time. You keep saying time. He, he kept saying the same thing. It takes time. He was there 40 years. He's demolished his country. Uh, uh, Mobutu. Time, time, time. Me buying chair, me buying chair. Almost 40 years. He wrecked his whole country. Uh, what's his name? The Bongo man. Bongo, the, the Congo Gabon, Bongo. Gabon. Yeah, Gabon. He's, He's been there 40 years. He's wrecked his whole country. Uh, uh, Somalia. They've all, most all African states are failed states. Why? Because you got people who are not practical 
running the country. I mean, Kofi, one of the reasons that I wanted to talk to you was because even though a lot of people say a lot of the time that, ah, oh, Kofi, why you have been talking too much and say we don't even know. I hear you all the time. And yes, I do hear some people, ordinary people say, that's our guy. I want to understand what it is that they say to you really. What is it that makes you feel that you can represent these people? What makes me feel? Mm. Because I have represented myself very successfully. And I believe that... They believe can, you? Well, they have to. They do. And I'm not going to let them down because I'm going to die one day. I'll leave all the material things here. Do you still have material face, things? Yeah. I have too much of it, you know, and I, I'm, I give it up. Give it up, you know, because how can I be enjoying myself? So where do you live now? Do you live suffer? in a big East house? Legon. You live in East Legon? Yeah. Your house? Yeah, one of my houses. You have many houses? A couple. Are you still rich when you arrived there? You had a Rolls Royce, I remember. I still have all People of were it. fascinated. You still have it? Oh, everything. You have a Rolls Royce parked in your garage. You don't yes. use it? Yes, Because why, why use a car like that in a place where people don't even have water to drink. They have no shoes on their feet. You look like an idiot, you know, riding around in a car like that. You know that, don't you? Uh, look like a buffoon. And Africans are known for being buffoon. I mean, the so-called leaders. You know, in America, when African leaders... You see, leaders, that's the sort of thing that gets you into trouble, isn't it? The African leaders trouble? are buffoons. I mean, that's what they Listen, let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. Mm. I don't know what the culture here will say, okay? Because I grew up outside here. But you come to my house, my roof is leaking. My children are crying. They have no food to eat. My wife is sick. Right. right. And you see me in the bar dancing and buying beer for girls. Am I, am I correct? Or in, in our culture, that's great. You mm. cheer me on. This guy is a great man. It, I don't know. Because I see it different. I, I, I'm, I see people suffering. You're frust you feel frustration. A sense of Well, yeah, because I'm like, why would these people take all this pain? I ask God every, every day when I pray, so, why do you allow my people to take this pain? Kufoy himself said April 9th, he made a statement, I got it here. Which said, he said, if Ghanaians were from another part of the world, they would rise up against the government. I cheered so much that speech. Do you understand? I love that speech. You go to Statesman, April 9th, 2000. You read that, that speech. He, he condemned the NDC government for raising taxes on petroleum without having feelings for the people. They raised it only to 6,400. Now it's almost 40,000. Now you're telling the people, now, now, now you're the, doing good. Now the price of crude oil is completely different. It doesn't have, look, crude oil, the rise of crude oil is no more than 10% at a time. So what, what they're doing here is pure ignorance. And they don't want to listen. They don't want to listen, period. Actually, I've been with 75 African rulers. So African. I know they're carrying rulers, presidents. You know, Mobutu, Yami. I've been around all of them, so mm. I've learned. So I know what I'm talking about. You learned what? I learned that the African that they don't care ruler, about the people. They don't care about their people. But you care about the people. Yeah, I do. How is that? It's interesting, isn't it? You're yes. with them, you know them. Yes. One man cares about yes. the people, the other one doesn't. When, when you advise them, look, uh, Mobutu, you know, uh, he brings Europeans, gives them diamonds and gold. I refuse. I said, listen, all this stuff, look at even the hospital, it's collapsed. You got billions of dollars. Why don't you bring some of it back? At least a hospital and, and, a, and a, a medicine factory for your people. Is that my people? They are useless. They've been suffering like this before I came. And it's, it's the same everywhere in Africa. So you feel yes. that the way to do it now is to just do it yourself? Yes. What are you going to do? You're going to form a political party? Yeah, I already I'm in the process. And I'm hoping that the people, the ordinary people of Ghana will join me because the condition they live in and their children, they have no future. You, you will form a political party and you will become the candidate. Yeah, because I got the know-how. You understand what I'm saying? When, when my Do you have the risk? And you are going to be traveling the country as a candidate? Yes, I've done it before. And, and asking them uh, yeah. to vote for you? Yeah, I've done it before. This is a brand new yeah. party? Yeah, United Republican Party. Isn't it interesting that people form parties every now and then, but every time you have a complete new party, it shows nothing at the polls? Because after all, they are traditional institutions. Why don't you well, go and join is, one no, of those no. institutions? The, see, the people got to know the traditions have failed them. This is the gist of my thought. So you think Ghanaians can, will vote I for party getting, outside the traditional yes, ones? I believe NDC, they're, getting, MPP. they're beginning to learn. This is the fruit of our education. 
you know, this is what we see pride, KSM, we've been preaching. The people we believe are beginning to realize that they're suffering and the leaders don't do anything. So let's give them another alternative. See if they really learn. People are beginning to realize that yes. they are suffering. Yes. You don't begin to realize your suffering. Yeah, you do. They didn't know that before. How do you not know what you're suffering? I mean, how they, can you say I that? I talk to people and they will say to you, why don't you go and build this? And I ask them, what about the government? They take your tax money. Most people don't even know why they pay taxes. You know, some of the so-called educated people yeah, But here, you see, that's the point. Look yeah. at the size of the challenge. People don't even know why taxes are paid. Yeah, they don't know why. But we've been educating them why. And they're beginning to learn. Can, do you hear the radio stations, people calling in? They, they're demanding for the first time. Because I've been telling them in Europe and America, right? Nobody calls radio stations and say, Bill Gates, go and build this for us. Go and build. No, nobody. Right? Bill Gates pays his taxes. You know, I got it. I pay, just a few weeks ago, I paid millions in taxes. Right? Why should you then say, I should take my money and do something for you? So yeah. that was really the problem, man. Eh? When you first started talking, people said, yeah. if Kofi Wayo yes. is so, so concerned, rich, then he money. should spend his own yeah, money. Yeah, spend his own money. And you think it that shows is you right crazy. away that something is wrong here. When you think like that, it shows that, you know, you have closed mind. You're not thinking. You see the big man in the big cars, you know, with air conditioned surround sound system, you know, uh, refrigerated systems in it and they, stuff like that. That's the taxpayer's money. They mustn't sit in cars with air conditioning. Try to be as modest, you know, as possible. We, they should be driving smaller cars. Smaller cars, especially with the petroleum problem now. We should all switch. They should buy buses where a bus can go to a point. All parliamentarians come to that point. Right? And take the bus and go to Parliament. Let's show the people that we too are suffering with them. But you can't sit in a 28 car motorcade beep, beep, every minute disrupting the people, right? Taking their tax money. You didn't have that before. You didn't. You understand? So why do it now? So if you were president, how would you get around? Two cars. That's it. If you were president, you'd get around with two cars. Two cars. You'd be in one? Yeah. Why'd you need another one? I'll have, you know, I gotta have a couple of guys with me. So, uh, you know, one car takes four people. So, the other know, four are your four, security. Yeah. Well, I can fight myself. I'm always ready for battle. So, so President Wayo would have his own holster with his gun in there. Well, my father always told me, son, there are six billion people in this world and there is a God for all of us. But because there are six billion, God is busy most of the time. So, always carry protection and help God. It might take him a few seconds to get there, but you help yourself for that few seconds before he gets there. So you must always be prepared mm -hmm. to defend yourself if you have to. So Why? you're gonna be, you're gonna be on, the, on, on the road soon? Oh yeah, because you know, I love my people and I'm, I have the spirit of Yah Santo, the fighting spirit. You gotta fight. And the Yana, and the Yagbangura, <laughs> and the Pagapiyo. <laughs> thank, thank you for coming.